Have you ever wondered how long a female orgasm actually lasts? You might think it's just a couple seconds, but science tells us something a little different. Hi, I'm Dr. Rina Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're gonna talk about the length or duration of orgasms, specifically the female orgasm. Let's start with how researchers actually study orgasms to figure out how long they last. In the lab, scientists use tracking devices to monitor a variety of responses that occur during orgasms. Specifically, they track things like pelvic floor contractions, heart rate, and blood pressure. During orgasm, they'll expect to see things like rhythmic pelvic floor muscle contractions that occur at about uh, 0.8 seconds. You also see your heart rate go up, up to somewhere as high as 110 to 180 beats per minute, and your blood pressure will increase. And while they're not actually watching you, at least not in modern science, if you were to watch people having orgasms, you would see physical changes like pupil dilation, muscle tension, and even flushing of the skin. Now, scientists can precisely identify when an orgasm begins when they see that first rhythmic contraction, that sudden spike in heart rate, and when it ends, because these measurements tend to go away or return to baseline. And so this allows us to really see how long do orgasms last. But interestingly, when researchers look at these measurements of how long orgasms last, compare that to what people actually think in terms of how long their orgasm lasts, they see a real difference. In fact, women tend to underestimate how long their orgasms last by quite a bit. In order to figure this out, in one study, researchers recruited 28 healthy, sexually active young women. Now, this is a pretty old study. It was in 1985, so almost 40 years old. Each participant was asked to stimulate herself until she reached orgasm. And in this particular study, in order to identify what was happening, researchers used a specific heated oxygen electrode that was inserted into the vaginal wall, and that essentially measured changes in blood flow to the vagina. Now, in these cases, women were instructed to tell the researcher when they started their orgasm and when it ended, and they timed it with a stopwatch. And then after orgasm, women were asked to estimate how long they thought their orgasm lasted and the intensity of their orgasm on a scale of one being weak to five being excellent. So what did they find? Well, the average length of an orgasm was about 20 seconds long, and it ranged anywhere from 10 seconds to up to a minute. But here's the interesting part. When women were asked to estimate how long their orgasm lasted, they almost always guessed much shorter, on average about 12 seconds. In fact, 86% of women underestimated how long their orgasm lasted, even if they were asked just minutes after the event occurred. They also found out that there was no real relationship between how strong the orgasm was and the increase in vaginal blood flow, and it didn't correlate with the duration of the orgasm as well as any other blood flow changes. The researchers also found out that there was no significant relationship between the strength of the orgasm, the increase in blood flow, or the duration of the orgasm. And on average, it took these women in 1985 about 7.8 minutes to reach orgasm through self-stimulation in the lab. And other studies have found something similar, that the average female orgasm lasts anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds. But there's huge variability in the individual experience. Research has found that short orgasms that last anywhere from three to 15 seconds are pretty common. And at the same time, longer orgasms, anywhere from 20 seconds to almost two minutes also occur pretty frequently. In fact, 40 to 48% of women report having orgasms that last anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds or even longer. Now, of course, this makes a lot of sense, right? When you're having an orgasm, you're not exactly seeing their count counting how long it's lasting. You're just sort of like, oh, that's longer than usual, or wow, that felt very intense. You're really sort of distorted in time. You're just sort of in the moment, which is exactly what an orgasm should be. Interestingly, some studies also looked at age in relation to how long orgasms lasted. And in that one study, they found that women between the ages of 31 and 40 tended to have the longest orgasms, averaging around 30 seconds. So it doesn't mean that if you're younger, you're gonna have longer orgasms. This may be because women in their 30s tend to know their bodies a little better than women who are younger and tend to know what they like to achieve orgasm because they've just generally had more practice. And they tend to have less body image issues, which can let them be in the moment and be more present when they're self-stimulating or with a partner. But I think the real take home is that longer doesn't necessarily mean better. What matters at the end of the day is the quality and the satisfaction you get from having the orgasm. And that's not specific to the duration. A lot of women will say that shorter, more intense orgasms can be just as satisfying as 
longer ones. Now, what factors might actually influence how long the orgasm lasts? Well, first is arousal level. So the more aroused a female is, more likelihood that she's gonna have a longer and more intense orgasm. So as I always say, take your time, build arousal, enjoy foreplay and extend stimulation so that you can build arousal to a higher level before climax for both you and your partner. And the type of stimulation may also play a role. So there's different forms of stimulation, clitoral, vaginal, and combined, and women will report that they have different orgasmic responses depending on how they're stimulated. I talked about this previously on my podcast with Dr. Barry Kamasurak, so make sure you check that out because he has some great insights and brain studies on sort of what happens during the female orgasm. And ultimately, combining stimulation, so vaginal and clitoral, can actually lead to even more intense and stronger orgasms. The other thing that can affect orgasm is hormones. We know that during the menstrual cycle, things change, and sometimes women can be more responsive or receptive to sexual stimulation. Particularly, women tend to report more intense and longer orgasms during ovulation when their estrogen levels are at their highest. And of course, psychological factors matter too, right? If you're stressed or anxious or distracted, you're not gonna have as intense of an orgasm and probably a shorter one too. So generally working to cultivate desire, reduce stress, and really enjoy the time you're with your partner, be present, be connected. That can really enhance your experience and your partner's experience in getting a great orgasm. The last thing is your pelvic floor. Now the pelvic floor is a bowl of muscles that sits underneath all your pelvic organs. So your bladder, your uterus, your rectum, these organs are involved in orgasm. They are the ones that contract rhythmically at 0.8 second cycles. And so when you have strong pelvic floor muscles, they will contract more strongly making the orgasm more intense. When they are weak, they might not contract quite as strongly making your orgasm less intense. So if you have a normal functioning pelvic floor, in those cases, doing pelvic floor strengthening exercises like Kegel exercises can be really helpful in improving your orgasm quality. Some medications can affect sexual function, including orgasm. So antidepressants like SSRIs have been shown to affect orgasm in a variety of different ways. Sometimes it can make it more difficult to get an orgasm or it can sort of change how intense they are and how long they last. And lastly, age, right? As anyone ages, women, man, anyone, their nerve endings age too. And so their sensation can decrease. And over time, that can mean that it makes it more difficult to achieve longer and more intense orgasms. But the healthier you are overall, the healthier your nerves are going to be and the less decrease in sensation you'll see. Bottom line, the average female orgasm is not short. It lasts anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds, but there's really individual variation. Women tend to think their orgasms are shorter than they really are, and then things can affect your ability to have longer or more intense orgasms. If you found this information helpful, make sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Guys, it is completely free and a great way to stay in touch. Make sure you see all my great content every single week. And as always, I'm gonna take care of yourself because you are worth it.